My name is Sylvia and uh, I like uh, knitting needles. So that's what we're going to talk about here today. My favorites, which ones I have, what I like about them, what I dislike about them, and just kind of general information about things. I'm wearing my Colette sweater by Sari Nordland and it's knit in the Wandering Flock DK weight uh, in the color Moonstone. I'm also wearing a slightly modified Oslo hat by Petite Knit, and the yarn is from French dyer uh, Lena Mouret, and the color is La Saison des Clémentines, and it's her 100% merino fingering weight, doubled. So I want to start with Knit Pro, my Knit Pro needles. Knit Pro is also known as Knitter's Pride in the United States, and I live in France, so also disclaimer, uh, I have no idea what US needle sizes are. <laughs> I exclusively use millimeter sizes. So that's what I will be using in this video. So I have been knitting, I'm entering my third year of knitting now. Um, and I use Knit Pro needles almost exclusively for my first two years of knitting basically. So I have quite a lot. When I decided I wanted to learn to knit, I saw on Instagram that there was a store near me that was closing and so they were doing 50% off on everything. So I went and I bought a couple random needles, including a Knit Pro set, uh, a set. I wouldn't really call it like a full needle set, but it was three different needles that came in this plastic case. So there were uh, some four millimeter metal needles, these right here. There were these plastic ones that I honestly don't think I've ever used. And there were some five millimeter wood needles that I lent to a friend, so I don't have them. But over time, as you can see, I have filled this up with Knit Pro needles of different sizes and different kinds. Mostly the Zings. But I do have some Novas here and here, and some Gingers here and here. But also, this case, this is actually part of a needle set. So these are the J'adore, J'adore needles. So these are wooden needles that are in purple wood. And uh, so I keep all of my Knit Pro interchangeables in this bag that came originally with this. And all of this fits pretty nicely in here. I also have all my cables in here as well. Um, but first I wanted to just kind of go over a quick overview of the different Knit Pro needles. So one thing that I think is important to a lot of people is knowing whether there's nickel in knitting needles um, because some people are allergic and that can cause a reaction in your hands. And Knit Pro says that none of their needles contain nickel. For wood, these guys, they say that all of their wooden needles are made of the same material, all the same kind of wood, except for their bamboo needles. And the wood is laminated birch wood. So supposedly these are laminated birch wood and these, if you know anything about me, you probably know that I love the color purple. So I bought these because they were purple, but I actually very rarely use them. I'm not a big fan of wooden needles. I'm a metal needle, needle girly and I do know that now. Then we have, so they, uh, so I guess the gingers, which are also wood. I guess these are also made of laminated birch wood. So here is, these are both eight millimeter. This is the J'adore and the Ginger. I would say that the Ginger is pointier than the J'adore and a lot slicker. Like there is definitely a lot more resistance and grab on these guys than on these guys. So if you like wooden needles, but you like them kind of slick, the Gingers are really nice. Knit Pro has a lot of different lines of needles, um, and these are part of the Nova line. So these are four millimeter needles. They're made of brass and they're electroplated with chrome. I also have one pair of the Nova Cubics, which they're also square like the J'adore, which is supposed to be more comfortable to hold on to. Personally, I haven't felt an added benefit in using square versus round needles. Uh, however, I think some people have. And also, disclaimer, I have bought some of these needles on Amazon. I'm not sure how many fake needles are going around. And for all of these, the size is kind of printed 
on the needle. Five point five millimeter, and then these I think I've bought them on Amazon. I don't know if there's like needle fakes that are sold on Amazon. So disclaimer, I'm not sure if all of these are one hundred percent authentic. But I have these, and then I have other four millimeters that came in this little pack, and they feel pretty similar to me. Um, I haven't noticed a difference. However, here. See the size here is rubbing off a little bit on these and these 6.5s as well. So that leads me to doubt a little bit of the authenticity of these needles, but I do find working with these uh, very pleasant. I find them quite slippery and I think the points are, they're definitely pointier than other Knit Pro needle lines like the Zings. And then so here is an example of the Knit Pro Zings, and these are made of aluminum. They're electroplated for the color, and they have a more, uh, they have a slippier tip, but the shaft of the needle is a little grippier. So it does slow your knitting down a little bit. I don't think not quite as much as wood, but if you want a little bit of added grippiness, that is an option as well. This is a five millimeter Zing, and this is a six millimeter Nova, question mark. And I think the taper is actually slightly longer on the Zing, but the point looks a little bit pointier, even if it's one millimeter size bigger. But as you can see, like all of these needles, some are longer than others, some have shorter tips, some have longer, longer tips. So the length of the needle is really gonna depend on the collection and the model itself. There isn't like one uniform size for all Knit Pro interchangeables. But they all work with all Knit Pro cables. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about cables. I have a bunch of <laughs> Knit Pro cables here. And a lot of you might probably be familiar with their classic nylon cables. Uh, most brands make cables with nylon. Uh, they're not the best. Like they do kink up a bit and they do have some memory, which means that they can stay kind of twisted when you start working with them. Uh, but Often I find that as you start working, the, neighbor, the weight of your project will untwist your cable. But I do want to mention one specific kind of cable from Knit Pro that I personally really enjoy working with. With this J'adore set, I got three cables like this. So they have a, they have a stainless steel core like a Chaogu cable does, which we'll talk about Chaogu in a little bit. And they are a lot nicer to work with because they don't keep that kink so much. Look, you can see this isn't like rolling back up how it was before. I don't know if you can get these cables anywhere. I looked on Knit Pro's website and they, they say that they have cables like this. They say they're called fixed cords. I haven't, I haven't like looked for them, but recently I was at a yarn fair and my friend bought some Knit Pro cables. They were the swivel kind, so I think they're the kind that they released with the Mindful collection. And they looked like this, but then they had the swivel. So, you know, if, if you're looking for Knit Pro cables that are more similar to Chowgu, look for the metal with the nylon, because they are a lot nicer. I haven't tried the swivels myself, so I can't speak for that. I've heard that some people do enjoy those and some don't. And for the sizes, I already showed you a couple of them, how they're kind of printed. Like on, on this J'adore set, for example, there's printing on the wood that is wearing off, but then here I think it's laser engraved with the size as well. So even if this rubs off, this will probably stick around here. This one, I think that this on the ginger may eventually rub off, unfortunately. The zings, the zings, they are laser engraved, so that is not going to rub off. And one thing I do like about the zings is the different colors. I'm someone who likes color, and I think sometimes I'll buy something because I like the color it's in, uh, and working with fun, colorful needles <laughs> is definitely something that kind of brightens up my day, or especially since purple is my favorite color, working with the 3.75, like, oh, I get to use my purple needles. However, <laughs> I haven't been using my Knit Pros 
that much since I bought some other sets. But they're perfectly serviceable needles. I have never had a cable break on me. Uh, I have never had a needle break on me. Um, I only have one issue with this set. One of the four millimeter needles wouldn't screw in correctly. So I never used the four millimeter size. And so I'm not sure what the size range of all of Knit Pro's sets are, but this one goes from four millimeter in the smallest to eight in the largest. So there's four, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 5, 6, and eight. The set also came with this little connector and you can use this to connect two cables together if you have, if you want to make an even longer cable. Um, I think I've used it once or twice, but it's a bit annoying, if, especially if you're trying to screw one long cable to the other because you have to twist the cable and then you have a long cable whipping all around the place, but it, it can be useful. And so among all of these different kinds of Knit Pro needles, which ones are my favorites and why? As I said, I'm a metal needle girly. I like it when it's slick. I like going fast and my favorite Knit Pro needles to work with are definitely the Novas. The chrome plating and the sharper tips definitely make for a much smoother knitting experience. I bought my set of Chowgoos in November of last year and I worked on a couple projects with them and then um, a month or two later I cast on a shawl with the four millimeters here with this guy here and I found myself actually really enjoying the knitting experience with these. Um, so I think they can be quite nice. They're not quite as pointy, obviously. One thing that I do want to do, and I will insert maybe at the end, is take some pictures of the different brands in the same size um, so you can see the difference in the tips. But I think my, yeah, my favorite Knit Pro needles are the Novas. If you're looking for a cheaper needle set that's going to allow you to go quickly, that is fairly pointy, I recommend the Novas. And if you really want those nice cables, look out for the Knit Pro cables with stainless steel coated in nylon because they are out there and they are pretty fabulous. And honestly, with these cables plus these needles, you're, you can have a really great knitting experience, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, as for wood, I actually, I really enjoy, I only have two sizes of the gingers, but I like working with them. I find them decently pointy, but I think what I like most about them is that they're very slick. So obviously they're not as slick as metal, but they are slicker than this. And they also come in a shorter tip size, like this six millimeter is much shorter as you can see compared to these. You can knit them with a smaller circumference than other things. I do have, I think, one fixed Knit Pro. I don't like these. <laughs> these are 2.75 millimeters. And I don't remember how long this cable is, but as you can see, it's not super long. And the needles are kind of short. I don't like working with these because I find that the cable is almost too short for you to comfortably work. And I find compared to like the size of the needle itself, I find the tips very blunt. I originally purchased these to do some twisted ribbing uh, in a collar. And I found it very difficult, actually, because it, it just it felt too blunt for what I needed it to do. And I ended up buying some chow goos to do that collar because this was just not working for me. One thing that I've had an issue with with Knit Pro needles um, that I think lots of other people have had issues with is them coming unscrewed while you work. Uh, so sometimes you just need to be vigilant. And I always use the tightening key, but I think the way that I knit, I don't know, the way I move my needles and my project, it... Uh, maybe kind of accentuates that or makes it easier for things to unscrew because it does happen with my chow goose as well. And yes, I do use the tightening key. Sometimes I even use like little silicone grippers, but I don't know, I guess the way that I, I move things around <laughs> makes that happen. I recently purchased a set of Addy Unicorn interchangeable and I'm someone who likes to kind of research when I make a purchase. And honestly, Googling Addy Unicorn interchangeables I think there were like two or three YouTube videos that talked about these needles. Very, very, very few. I found like two blog posts that talked about the unicorns, but they were the fixed ones. So I want to talk about these a little bit. First of all, is there nickel in Addy needles? Because that's something that I have seen over and over again on the internet, that Addy needles 
have nickel and you should not use them if you have a nickel allergy. So I went digging around Addie's website and they say, let me pull up the quote. We have been producing nickel free needles at Addie for over a year now. But when that sentence was written, when they started producing those needles, I'm not sure. And you know, I can't guarantee that if you go to your local yarn store, they will have nickel free Addie needles. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're buying new, um, I think you can find that information, you can ask the retailer, but do watch out, some Addy needles have nickel. I think one of the fixed Addies that I have does have nickel. But these are a much more recent set and I do believe that they are nickel free. Addy needles are brass and they're coated with white bronze, at least the ones that they're making now. And so the unicorn set comes in this little case it's a fabric case with a little unicorn embroidered here. So it opens up like this. Came with these papers in there too. I haven't gotten rid of them. And like that. Oop. So these are all uh, magnetic. Then this is, so this is just a little quality control paper and it says the name of the person who checked the package. Just a little Addy flyer talking about their different products. And then the needles themselves. So it also came with a cute little pin. I haven't done anything with it yet. It's still just living here. And then the needles are like this in the packaging. So this set goes from 3.5 millimeters to, oop. it's kind of hard <laughs> to hold it open. Uh, without something closing or falling, but it goes from 3.5 millimeters. I have the fours on a project right now, um, all the way to eight millimeters. And the unicorn set, this kind of texture, as you can see, it's kind of like it spirals around and it looks kind of like a unicorn horn. The unicorn interchangeables, these are the only sizes that are available. You cannot buy as far as I have found it's not like a Chaogu or a Knit Pro where you can go and just buy one three millimeter interchangeable needle. I have not found that. You can purchase their fixed unicorns. One, like you can buy a two millimeter and the fixed ones start at two, but these only do these sizes. There's 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 7, and 8 in this set. So if you do a lot of small needle knitting, like a lot of the projects that I've been doing lately have been 3, 3.25, obviously you're not gonna be able to do that with these needles. So that's also something to keep in mind. I mean, as you saw, the J'adore set, the smallest needle was four millimeters. So that's even more of a limited range because here you at least do get the 3.5s. My first impression of these needles wasn't the best. I cast on a ribbed hat and sometimes I knit my ribbing really tightly. But there's one thing that you should know about Addy that sets them apart from pretty much, I think, every other interchangeable brand in the game is that they have a different connection system. I have a scrappy little project here that I can show you. These are, these are the four millimeters. As you can see, there is a visible step here. So if you're a really tight knitter, these probably won't work for you. So when I started this ribbed hat and I was knitting really tightly, I had a really hard time getting them across that step. I would he feel them kind of like, and it was a bit of a struggle to get them to pass over. I had to physically like really push. It didn't necessarily stop them, but it was definitely really annoying. However, here I have cast it on a scrappy project. It's all in rib and I'm making a point to knit a lot looser and Honestly, it's fine. You can feel when the yarn goes over that step. The good thing about this click system though, like it's a system where you, you put the needle in and you push it in, you twist and it clicks into place. I'm still kind of struggling to get a proper handle on doing it well. They come with little silicone grabbies things that you can put one on the needle and one on here. And it is not the most comfortable, not the most intuitive thing to do. But once you kind of like get the feel for it, it's not that hard. 
But there is one thing that I really do enjoy about these needles. It's the material, actually. I just find them super slick and super nice to knit with. Even when you, when you go to knit and your needle tips rub up against each other, I find that there is very little friction, uh, less so than like a chow goo stainless steel needle. I just find that that feeling, it feels nice. I don't really know how to describe it otherwise, like it is pleasing to me when these needles kind of slide against each other. The cables, however, I mean, ID cables are okay. They say on their website that they're just made of plastic. I'm not sure if this plastic is nylon. I didn't really find any other information on their website. The unicorn set comes with pink cables, with three sizes of pink cables. These are the only ones that aren't on a project right now. As you can see, they kink back up a bit, but I don't think they're quite as bad as the Knit Pro nylon cables. I think they're made out of a slightly different material, but they definitely do have a little bit of memory. There's also supposed to be somewhere in these cables where there's like a slit in them and you can slip in some yarn for a lifeline. I'm trying to find it, but I'm not sure where it is. One other nice thing that I, I just read it on the cable because it's printed here. Addies are made in Germany. Knit Pros are made in India. Chowgus and Haya Hayas are made in China. So these are being all, these are all being made and checked in Germany, which generally has you know, pretty high standards for manufacturing. So probably gonna get something quite nice. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the, the thing for the lifeline is. I also have one fixed Addy that I originally purchased to knit socks. So I was going to knit socks in Magic Loop. I did realize that I don't like that method for sock knitting, but I still have these needles. I think these these have nickel. These are, I've had them for a couple years. They're 2.25s. And uh, this cable, you can see it's, it's not the same. It's not the same material as the unicorn cable. This is the same nylon as the Knit Pros, for example. I can tell just by look, by touch, it looks exactly the same. The unicorns, feel a little bit different, uh, have a little bit less memory as well. One other thing to point out about Addy as well, uh, the tips. So Addy makes two different tip styles. There's the basic and the lace. The basic ones are quite blunt. It's good if you're a beginner, if you're working with something very splitty, but personally, I like a sharp tip. So these are the lace tips on the 2.25s. They are not as sharp as Chowgoo's. Even the, like the Addy lace tips are not as sharp as Chowgu tips, and Chowgu tips are not as sharp as Haya Haya sharps. The, from what I've read online, the Unicorn interchangeables they have the sharper lace tip, and then the Unicorn fixed they do have the basic tip. Addy also makes their crazy trios in unicorns, which are, they're like DPNs, but they have a very, it's two small needles with a small cable. So you can use them like DPNs, but they have more flexibility. And on those, they have on each one, one basic tip and one lace tip. It's pointy-ish. Later, as I said, I will take a picture of the four millimeter Addy, the four millimeter Knit Pro Nova, I think the four millimeter Knit Pro J'adore, and the four millimeter chow goo. And so you have really side by side the tips of all of them because tips are important to a knitter. One of the reason why I purchased these is because I wanted a longer needle. My chow goos, I bought the, the four inch set and I'll get into that a little bit later, um, but I wanted something longer because I find it actually, I've realized a lot more comfortable to knit with a bigger, longer needle. And these, the needles are 4.9 inches, 125 millimeters in length. And I definitely, like I don't have massively huge hands or anything, um, but knitting with two short needles for too long of a time gives me cramps in my hands right here. I got these needles recently and the more I knit with them, the less I am experiencing those cramps because I got the Chow Goose last year in November. And as I started knitting with them more and more, I was developing those cramps. And now the more I knit with these, the less I have those cramps. Something also to keep in mind, but I think that all that's all very personal. Some people are gonna find knitting with shorter needles very comfortable. So 
you can listen to what I say all day, but you know, maybe what works for me might not work for you. This unicorn spiral, Addie also says it's supposed to massage your fingers as you knit. Um, to me, that kind of feels like the cubics thing, how the cubes are supposed to be more comfortable. Personally, I haven't felt a difference. That doesn't mean that difference doesn't exist. Maybe it might be more evident to others, but I like how they look. I think they're cute <laughs> and I do like the slickness. I wish they were as pointy as the Chowgoos, but overall, despite a kind of negative first impression, I'm liking my Addies more and more. I do, I do wish that they came in smaller sizes, because as I said, I've been knitting a lot of smaller size uh, projects lately, but I think that's kind of a consequence of their click system, that um, they can't pass past a certain size, they can't manufacture the click system, and I think they would probably have to redesign it, or scale it down somehow, and maybe it's just not possible. Next up, it's Chowgu. I feel like Chowgu are really like the luxury needle that everyone talks about, and I think for good reason. I really like my Chowgu's, and then for some, like there are things that I really do like about my Chowgu's, but others that I don't like as much, so let's have a look. I have this Chowgu interchangeable set. As I said, I got the four inch or 10 centimeter set for, um, I think I was kind of won over by one argument that I saw online. I don't remember if it was on YouTube or Reddit, but someone said, oh, if you get the four inch tips and you use the shortest cable, you can usually knit your sleeves with them. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I hate, I hate it. <laughs> if you put the shortest cable, it, it makes like a 20 centimeter, I think, uh, diameter. These little guys here. Uh, I find that there's just two, it's kind of like working with with these little knit pros that I mentioned earlier, that there just feels like the cable is too short and it feels like there's too much tension on the needle and the cable and it puts pressure and tension, I think, in your arms and it's, it's not a great experience for me. I did buy the big set, which I don't know if it was the best idea now that I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like the 10 centimeters as much. If you buy a full set of Chowgoos, you're gonna get a much wider range of sizes than something like this or the J'adore set, but um, it's obviously gonna cost you a lot more. The Chowgu interchangeables, so let me just read the sizes to you guys. There's 2.75, 3.25, 3.5, 3.75, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 8, 9, and 10. And honestly, I've never used a 10 millimeter needle in my life. I don't know how much I would ever use something like this. I've used eights for a few things, sixes. Uh, I don't think I've ever used a nine. These are the only nines I have. And I think there's one kind of glaring oversight. There's no three millimeter in, the, in, in here. It goes from 2.75 to 3.75. But I think I remember, maybe it was Nitty Natty who mentioned something about three being bad luck. I don't know, I'll look it up and write it on the screen. I'm not sure, but I don't know if it was like three is a bad luck number or something along those lines. I think it's kind of too bad that it doesn't come with a three millimeter. This is an example of the smaller tips. And as I said, they make my hands hurt and I'm not a big fan. So that's something to keep in mind also. like. Personally, you may find it comfortable to knit with these. You may find it comfortable to use the 20 centimeter cable, but no one can tell you that until you try. Chowgu needles, they are made of stainless steel. They don't have any sort of coating, like the Addies and the Knit Pro Novas, they are coated. That coating can eventually come off. Uh, I don't think it comes off very quickly. It generally is something that happens after years and years of regular use. Uh, but these are made of pure stainless steel, which means that there is no coating that will ever rub off. However, I find that there is, compared to the Addies and even the Novas, you feel a little bit more friction when you rub the needles against each other. I feel knitting with Novas and knitting with Addies, that is a much smoother feeling when you go like this. Almost all of the metal needles I've shown you are hollow. Uh, however, I think stainless steel is heavier. Uh, I can pull out, <laughs> I can pull out a scale actually, and we can test some needle sizes. The Addies are obviously longer, but I'd be curious to see which one weighs more. So here is my trusty little scale. For example, five millimeter, oh yeah. 
I think the 2.5 millimeters here are heavier than these five millimeters, I would say, just by feel, because these are hollow and these are solid. I think past a certain size, they make them solid because if not, they wouldn't have enough structural integrity. The five millimeters are coming in at 4.78 grams in weight for the five millimeter four inch Chaogu needles. The 2.5s are weighing in at 6.3, so they weigh like two more grams actually. And let's see how much the five millimeter Addies weigh. So these are about an inch longer, 7.83. Picking up, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. Chaogu needles are also really famous for their cables and I think for good reason. They can be a little bit rigid sometimes, but I generally quite like their cables. They're like those Knit Pro ones that I showed you. They are stainless steel coated in nylon. There you go. So it kind of, it looks like the Knit Pros. And for all of these needles, I find that the join in general, like going from here to here, you, depends on how tight you're knitting, but I generally haven't had any major issues with stitches catching at the join, except for if I'm knitting with a very fine yarn, sometimes it happens more easily. And I think I've had it happen with like all of the brands, so. An important thing to note about Chaogu cables is that there are three different cable sizes. So the joins, like if you want to use these, if you want to use like the 6.5 millimeter, you can't use the same cable as for a 2.5. The 2.5 uses the mini size cable. It is a lot thinner. This is the mini cable. Compared to the small, you can see there's quite a significant difference. The mini cable on top, the small cable in the middle, and the large cable at the bottom. Just looking at it quickly, it doesn't look like there's a huge difference between the small and the large, but there is definitely a bit of a difference. And I find that the bigger the cables get, the less pliable they get. So it can be a bit rigid with these bigger sizes. Also not being able to use all of your cables with all of your needles can be a little bit annoying. They do sell adapters, but that's just another thing to buy. Um, I have heard people say online that Chaogu's never come unscrewed because that was one thing that I found annoying with my Knit Pros that they sometimes do come unscrewed. Um, but I don't find that to be true. <laughs> and I found lots of other people, like later, I've seen other people saying, my Chaogu's also come unscrewed. I think it depends on how you knit because I tighten them with the key with silicone. Like I said, they still sometimes come unscrewed. So <laughs> I guess that's something that Addy has on Chaogu that the click system doesn't really come undone. At least from what I've read online that it doesn't really come undone. Other than the interchangeables, I do have a couple of different other kinds of Chaogu needles. I have some fixed, I have some shorties. These are called the Twist Short Combo. And the smaller sizes come with mini cables. So I don't remember exactly at what point they switch cable sizes, but see these are 2.25s with a mini cable. This is a four millimeter set. As you can see, there are two sets of needles and two cables in these little sets. And the cable is blue, but it works with uh, any small cable needle. These little sets, I have them in a couple different sizes. I have some others hanging around in project bags too. I personally really like them. They come with a three inch tip and a two inch tip. And then with cables that are, the cables are five and six inches. So five centimeter and eight centimeter needles and 15 centimeter and 13 centimeter cables. So you can get a variety of different uh, circumferences with these. And I find that they can be really nice for doing sleeves because if you're doing a sleeve with a lot of decreases at the top, you can use the bigger needles, the longer cable. And as you go down, uh, you can swap out a needle, you can swap out the cable. And so you don't have something that's pulling too much at the, like the, it doesn't feel too tight. Like there are too few stitches. The circumference of your needle is too small. And of course they have the wonderful Chaogu tip. 
which I realized for the interchangeables, I didn't really show that tip. This is like the 3.5 millimeter. So I wanna compare the, the Addy lace tip to the Chow Gu tip. And these are the same size needle. Addy is this one, Chow Gu is this one. So you can see the taper is about the same length, but at the tip, the Chow Gu is definitely sharper and you can definitely feel it when you're knitting. When I got the Addies at first, I was like, oh my God, these are so blunt compared to the Chow Gu's that I had been knitting with for the past couple months. Chow Gu isn't like Addy, it's not like Knit Pro. I believe all their metal needles have the same sharp tips. And um, I was knitting a couple projects on Chow Gu's and I actually did, I think, cut a small hole <laughs> in my thumb because I tend to push and I was working with very small diameter needles and every I was really hard to stop doing it and every time I would push it was like ah! disclaimer uh be careful if you're a thumb pusher it's not as bad as high high sharps though which will poke a hole in your finger but yeah I do like the twists quite a lot the twists are also what I use to knit all of my socks generally I do have these, this is uh, 4.5 millimeter and they are 12 inches, 30 centimeters. If you use the long cable and the bigger needles on this, you can get a 30 centimeter diameter. So this is 30 centimeters or 12 inches. And so these can be used to knit sleeves, but again, as long as you're not knitting a sleeve that's super tight, because then you might struggle if, you know, I don't think I could have knit like this sleeve on these needles. But uh, the fact that these are kind of bent, I think uh, makes working with the smaller cable a lot more comfortable. Cause I mentioned earlier, like with some needles that I don't like working with the needles with such a short cable. I think this kind of remedies the problem quite well and it's a lot more comfortable to work with. I do also have these fixed chow goos. These are 24 inch or 60 centimeter, eight millimeters. And these also kind of have the bend in them. I find these okay to work with. Maybe because I think the last time I worked with them, I was working on a project that was, had too many stitches eventually on the needles for it to be comfortable. But I remember switching from these to the Knit Pro Gingers and being like, oh, that feels so much nicer. But it may more have been a question of like the cable being too short because this cable isn't super, super long. Um, but this does feel a bit heavy to me as well. Uh, I don't think the scale is too small for me to comfortably get this and get to a proper measurement, so I can't really weigh it. For Chow Goos, the size is laser imprinted on the needle as well, as is the cable size that you have to use. You can see, I don't know how well you can see it. Here it says S in brackets here. So I don't think that size is gonna rub off or disappear anytime soon. Then I have, I actually have a couple fixed Haya Hayas. I don't have any Haya Haya interchangeables, so I can't speak to them whatsoever. Haya Haya is kind of similar to Addy in that they do two different kinds of tips. They have the Haya Haya steels, which are a much blunter tip. So here we have a six millimeter needle, and here we have a seven millimeter needle. And here is a comparison. These are both six millimeter needles. This is Chow Gu. This is Haya Haya Steel, not Haya Haya Sharp. So you can see the Chow Gu is pointier. The Haya Haya has a longer taper. Haya Hayas, like Chow Gu's, are made out of stainless steel. They do have just the basic nylon cord though, the same as the Knit Pros and that Addy Fixed that I saw showed you. Yeah, by feel, they feel exactly like the Chow Goos. It's the same material. Uh, they're hollow as well. And I don't think I've gotten that much use out of these. These were just kind of randomly bought and I've maybe eased, used each one once. I don't know if I can speak to how much I like them that much because I honestly don't remember really disliking or liking work working with them. But I do have much stronger feelings about the sharp minis that I have. I have two uh, sets or two pairs of Haya Haya Sharp Mini Circulars and I 
hate these. <laughs> I find these super unpleasant to work with for two main reasons. So the Haya Haya Sharps are the sharpest, I think the sharpest tip out there that you can get. And let me compare. So this is a 3.5 millimeter. Let's see if I have a 3.5 in here. So we have the Haya Haya Sharp here, Chaogu here. I think it's a significantly sharper tip than the chow goo. You can definitely feel it when you poke it. And higher high is like chow goo, maybe if you're pushing a lot, it might poke a hole in your finger, but higher high is if you push a lot, they will poke a hole in your finger. I have had someone tell me when I was posting about these that I really disliked them. They're like, oh yeah, I poked a hole in my finger knitting with higher high is. And you can find like disclaimers and warnings online. Like if you're a thumb pusher, do not use a Haya Haya. However, knitting lace with my chow goose, I've had moments where like, huh, maybe an even pointier needle could be nice actually. <laughs> but I also, so I do tend to push. So I found working with these really uncomfortable. And the other thing that I hated about these is look at the size of the needle that you hold on to. So I think because the taper is much longer, um, it, generally it's just a lot shorter. Like let's compare it to, a chow goo shorty. So obviously we don't have the same diameter. And honestly, held up like that, they do look to be about the same length. However, on the chow goos, you actually have the join on the cable that is also metal. So it feels more of a, a continuation of the needle. And the taper, I believe, it's hard to compare because they're different sizes, but I think the taper starts later on on the needle. So it just, when you're knitting with these, it just feels like you don't have enough space to put your fingers on them. I mean, if you love these, let me know. Uh, I haven't really heard of anyone else using Haya Haya mini cirques. Uh, so I haven't really heard anyone else talking about whether they like or dislike these. But personally, I don't like the Haya Haya mini circulars. I should probably sell mine or give them away or... Because I have, I have these in 3.5 millimeters and in 5 millimeters. And I think I would rather knit a sleep on Magic Loop than on the 5 millimeter <laughs> high, high mini circulars. And I don't like Magic Loop. I also kind of forgot to mention the size on here. I couldn't find information online whether it was printed, laser engraved, but I think it's laser engraved. It doesn't seem like it would scratch off. However, up oh, here, you can kind of see. For this bigger size. So obviously the bigger the needle, the more legible the size is going to be. Voiceover editing Sylvia here, and here is the picture that I snapped of the four millimeter tips. On the very top we have Chowgu, right underneath it's Addy, then the Knit Pro Novas and the Jador. So you can get a good idea of the taper and the point of all of those combined. One last random thing. Here are some DPNs. These are the only DPNs that I have. And these ain't great. <laughs> I bought these in the US. They're from Michaels. Loops and Threads brand. I needed them to finish a pair of socks because I couldn't find many circulars anywhere. I was in Miami. Miami is not really a knitting town for obvious reasons. Like it's hot. People don't wear sweaters that much. And so the only thing I could find at Michael's in the 2.25s were DPNs. And these straight out the box, they were kind of garbage, honestly. You can see like the color, the plating was already coming off straight out the packaging. They were kind of like scratched, but basically I don't recommend loops and threads DPNs from my single experience with them. I think we've kind of gone over a lot of the differences and similarities and what I like and dislike about certain needles. If I could make a perfect Franken needle, I think what I would do, honestly, it would probably be mostly Chowgu. I want the Chowgu tip, the Chowgu cable, because even though it has its downsides, I generally quite like it. Um, but the sleek, sleek feel of the Knit Pro Novas or the Addies, um, and have a definitely a longer needle because the shorter needles just aren't for me. And also I wish my ideal Franken needles would never ever come unscrewed. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope 
you know, you got something out of this. I tried to be fairly thorough. If there's any detail I forgot, let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer them and I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and give me a follow if you're interested in seeing more of my knitting content. Have a great day. Bye bye.